Hey everybody, this is Franco, and today I am in my office, not in my garage, and I want to shoot a quick video about using the Xbox 360 controller with the Centroid Acorn software. So just to cut to the chase, to get right down to it, the Xbox 360 controller is a really nice controller. It's cheap, uh, and it, it works really well as a CNC pendant, at least for you know your homebrew and hobby DIY machines. Uh, so just to demonstrate some of the functionality with this uh, configuration, you can, you know, cycle start your programs. You can feed hold your program. Cycle start it again. Feed hold. Uh, you can also reset the program. Uh, so that's your basic functionality there as far as program operation. You can go in and out of single block mode. And you can also, if you can see the screen, you can change the feed rate override. So let me, let me start the program here. So you can increase the feed rate, reset back to 100%, decrease the feed rate, back to 100%. That's a really nice functionality to have on the pendant. Now also, you can jog the axes. So the Centroid CNC software has two uh, speeds for jogging. You have like slow jog and you have rapid or high speed jog. So you can switch between those modes rather easily. So let me start out in, in slow jog. The little turtle light comes on. See, so we can change modes right from the controller or Xbox 360 controller. So slow jog, X, Y, Z, or you can jump into fast jog. So those are all really nice features and it's, it's you know, all part of the software and controllable by the Xbox 360 controller. So, how do you get here? How do you get your Xbox 360 controller to work with the Acorn? Well, fortunately, there's a very nice gentleman, and I'm just going to jump out here. His name is Rex Ferber, and he has made some uh, videos about this, so I'm not going to really go over all the information that he covers in his videos, but after you're done watching my video, go uh, look for the link in the description and go check out Rick's video. He'll tell you how to download the software and how to configure it and how to make it work. Uh, so he, really cool guy. He made some really nice documentation. So check it out. What I will tell you is the software that you're going to use is called Rewazd. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's really very inexpensive. It only costs six dollars. You download it, jump on PayPal, PayPal, give them six dollars, and uh, this piece of software will let you remap your Xbox controller to use it with the Acorn. Uh, Rick's video will tell you how to program your controller, but if you don't want to do that, if you go here to Community, you can punch in Centroid, and you can actually see there are some pre, uh, pre-configured uh, profiles that you can just download. So this is the one that I use, and I see Rick has one on here too. Uh, so it makes it really easy. So you uh, download the, the Rewaz software, pay them $6.00 jump on their website, download one of these profiles. Actually, I think you can access these profiles from right within the application. It's very cool. Uh, works really well. So there you go. Um, make sure, okay, good. Got my Centroid screen reactivated. Centroid software, it's working great. Really happy with it so far. Like they said, it's prof professional grade CNC, easier to configure, very stable. And uh, that's been my experience with getting the Xbox 360 controller to work with it too. It was not hard to do, uh, didn't take very long, didn't really cost me that much money, and it seems like it works pretty well. So, that's all I have to say about that. And uh, as I close here, I'm joined by the ever-present Winston. Come here, Winston. Hey, come here, buddy. And he's hungry, and he really likes cat treats. And, um, oh, there you go. Yeah, you don't waste anything. There you go. So thanks for watching, and be safe, 
and we'll catch you next time.